All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to show you three of my favorite drinks to make when I'm either hosting family members or even friends over at my house. I'm Mexican, and so one of the drinks that you are always gonna see is a michelada. I already, I measured everything out, but I do have the bottles just in case you guys wanna see what I'm using. Um, I will kind of go over everything with you, okay? Okay, so first things first is I'm using a mason jar just because I like the way it looks. It's nice and big. Putting extra lime on the rim so that we can dip it into our tajin. So I was able to get enough tajin on here, as you can tell. It's like a nice, thick, nice, thick rim. So let's go ahead and add in our ice. So now our tomato juice, and this would be like your clamato. If you don't care about keeping it low carb or anything like that, clamato actually makes a michelada version, and that already has the spices and all that in there. So now we're doing our tomato juice. We have soy sauce. And then we have the Worcestershire sauce that goes in next. And then we have some tapatio. This is just some hot sauce. Let's give that a little stir just to make sure it is our tomato juice is nicely seasoned and flavored. And now we are going to add some fresh squeezed lime juice right in. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, my mouth is watery. So I found a z um, zero sugar beer. Twist off caps. Um, so that's what we're using, but you can use your favorite beer of choice. <gasps> Damn. I didn't want it to ruin my rim. <laughs> okay, it's okay. And there you have it, guys. This is a Mexican michelada that you can make that is low carb, keto friendly, and has all the flavor. This one does not have the alcohol because guys, I have a full day. I can't, <laughs> I can't be drinking this big old thing of, of beer, but um, it tastes just the same. So, you know, if you don't want to have the beer, but you want to have the experience, there you go. Oh my God, it tastes like real beer. Guys, this is like definitely a thirst quencher, 100%. So good, so refreshing, perfect all year round, but of course, summertime. This is perfect. Um, now I'm gonna show you another drink. This is my ultimate favorite, a margarita that is sugar-free, doesn't have the sugar, but has all the flavor. So the first thing you're gonna need is your margarita glass. This is actually plastic because, you know, we're just trying to be safe here. You can even make a margarita with tahini, but we're just using margarita salt. It's not regular salt, so you definitely do want to get margarita salt. It just makes it look prettier. It tastes different too. I feel like it's not as salty. Okay, so we have our shaker here. What I'm going to add is some ice. So you first add a little ice, and we have our tequila. So we have a shot. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Then we have some fresh squeezed lime juice. Okay, so typically I love like a mango, passion fruit, strawberry margarita. Um, now, because that typically has a lot of sugar and we are trying to keep all these drinks low carb, keto friendly, um, I'm gonna use the Ultima flavor. So these, if you haven't tried the Ultimas, they're amazing. You can obviously, they're great for drinks and everything, but to make cocktails, even if you go to a bar and you order like to keep um, vodka on the rocks or anything like that, if you put in one of the little packages, it makes you like a nice fruity drink. So what I'm using today is the peach Bellini. So we're making a peach margarita, but they do have the passion fruit. I just ran out. So um, anyway, we're going to do one little scoop of this. So typically margaritas use a simple syrup, which is obviously pure sugar. And that's what makes all the carbs and, um, you know, spike up. This has zero calories, zero carbs, and it has a sweetener. It's sweetened with stevia. So I'll leave this linked in the description below. I do have a discount code, which is low carb love. You guys can use that. And so that's gonna give it the sweetness. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of sparkling water. Just a little. I just don't want it to be too strong. And we're gonna give this a good shake. Okay. We're gonna top this with ice. And you have a peach margarita without all the carbs and the sugar. And we're just gonna garnish it with a slice of lime. Who knows what this is? 
comment down below before you move forward. <laughs> Pause the video, go comment down below. Let me know if you guys know what this is. I'm actually, this is actually a new fruit for me. I had no idea that this is what a star fruit looks like. So we're gonna cut it together. I have seen it in um, drinks, but I've actually never purchased one or cut one. So we're doing this together for the first time. And obviously it's called a star fruit because of the shape. Look at that. This is so pretty. Yeah, and we're actually using this as a garnish. I just think it's gonna look really pretty on our margarita. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Look at that. I think it just looks so cute, super refreshing, and just makes it look really pretty. Hmm, interesting. I guess I've never actually tried it before. I just thought it looked really pretty. <laughs> um, but it's not that sweet. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. Hmm, like a um, less sweet version of a kiwi. Okay, and before we move on to the next, let's do a little quick sip. Mmm, oh my God, this is delicious. Wow, only one more. It has real alcohol. <laughs> Perfect, 10 out of 10. Moving on to our very last one. One of my favorite family favorite my mom family aunt loves it it's sangria okay so the first thing you're gonna need for your sangria is a bottle of wine now you can make a white sangria or a red obviously so we're doing um a red sangria today now guys do not judge me okay this is my first time officially opening a bottle of wine all by myself okay i never knew it was this difficult okay Let me see, people always sniff the cork. So we have our wine, red wine. Now you need a pitcher. So I have a beautiful little glass pitcher. I feel like sangria always just looks really pretty in glass, like a, a glass pretty pitcher like this, but you can make it in whatever. So first we're gonna add our ice. You're just gonna add some ice into your pitcher. So after the ice, I like to throw in my fruit just because I think it looks really pretty in the, um, like at the bottom where then you're gonna add your liquids on top. And because obviously the holidays are here, you're just throwing in some cinnamon for like that little spice. But this is um, not something that you would see in a traditional sangria. Like if you're having it during the summertime, usually um, you see it more in like a holiday sangria. Okay, now in Barcelona, what we used to sweeten up the sangria because sangria is a sweet drink, um, we used simple syrup, which is obviously just sugar and um, triple sec. So instead of doing that because of all the sugar that that contains, um, we're gonna use the cherry pomegranate from Ultima and um, we're just gonna add a scoop right in. So this is gonna sweeten up our sangria without adding all that extra, all the extra carbs. And we're gonna do two just to make sure it's nice and sweet. And now the last thing we need is our wine. So let's go ahead and pour in our wine. Now you can find the lowest sugar wine possible. There are a lot of low carb wines out there. What we're gonna top it off with is some sparkling water. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is dangerous. Super dangerous. I'm gonna, have, for sure I'm finishing this and then going on, moving on with the day, but. Guys, you can barely taste the alcohol. It just tastes super refreshing. Very holiday feels, like you can taste a little bit of everything in there. This is a must try. Even if you don't, if you're not like a big drinker, cause I, I know, I know, some people are not like really big on alcohol, you can't taste it. And it's just, oh gosh, it's so good. All right, guys, so I will leave the recipe to these drinks in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you show me some love. Go hit that like button and share this video along with the channel with friends and family that are living a low-carb lifestyle or that you know would just want healthier options to some of their favorite foods. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I love you, and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah. Cheers.